Hey guys and welcome back. I got a great video for the, those of you who are sick and tired of slicing. You stand up, you're trying everything you can think of to get that ball to turn over from right to left. You block it a mile to the right, it starts to slice off into the woods. Very frustrating. Well in this one we got the bowling ball drill. We're going to help you to release that club with a great visual just like you do when you're bowling. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so when we're bowling, you can imagine, let's, let's say that this fairway is our bowling lane. Well, if we're a pretty good bowler, what we want to do is as we come back, we're going to actually spin the bowling ball. So the bowling ball starts to spin this way and then it's going to curve from right to left. And as you spin that bowling ball, as you release the ball, your hand kind of works around the side of the ball and then comes all the way around. This kind of outside around the ball motion and this good full finish over, over our shoulder is it very similar to the feeling that we want to have. Now, I'm, I'm no expert bowler. I'm not on the, on the PBR circuit or whatever <laughs> the professional bowling league is. But I do notice when people are bowling, their hand does turn over and they get around the outside of that ball as they're letting it go. So do the same thing here as we're setting up this golf ball. I'm going to set up here, and when I visualize my right hand, I'm going to put it a little bit more underneath the club. That's going to help me to, to get a bit more of a draw. So if you tend to have a weaker grip where your hand is turned to the left over top of the club, now it's really difficult to, to get that face to turn on over. I'm going to put my hand a little bit more underneath. That's called a, a bit of a stronger grip with that right hand. And then as I'm coming through contact, I want to imagine I'm coming from the inside and then I'm going to bowl this ball almost into the, the right rough or into the right gutter. And I'm going to let my hand roll on over to get the face to turn on over. So if I do this with a golf club, let me go ahead and set up straight here. Now as I come down, I'm letting this, this club come in. And then I feel like I'm wrapping it around the outside of the ball and letting my arm really come extend out away from my body. Right? So I'm letting my arm come out away that way. And if I really did this in a golf swing, man, I would snap hook it. I mean, I'd really get that thing rolling on over. So a little bit will go a long way. We're actually hitting a shot here. But the key is I want this arm to come on out. I feel like it's coming away from my body as I'm coming on through there. If you're over the top, your hands are going quick back into the left. I want to have the feeling that they're coming on out. And if I imagine this face of my club, here's straight ahead. I'm going to feel like it wraps around the, actually squares up, starts to square up way back here. And then as it gets to contact, it's going to wrap around the outside of the golf ball. So try this out. It's a great visual for you guys to have that are struggling with the draw and really get that thing turned over right to left. Ideally, we'll get this to turn over 20 or 30 yards. Let's go ahead and give it a try. There we go. Nice draw. Went about 5 or 10 yards from right to left. It's exactly what we want to do. The bowling ball drill gets you to draw it every time. All right, guys, I hope you all really enjoyed this video. If you did, I got an even better bonus for you. If we want to get distance in the golf swing, we've got to get a lot of lag, and then we've got to let that lag go. Well, I've got my number one lag video. I'm going to play a preview of that here in a second. If you're on a desktop device, go ahead and click the link that pops up in your screen. If you're on a phone or a tablet, click the iCard that's somewhere on your screen right now. That's going to take you to where you can get instant access to that full video. Plus, you're going to get five videos from our top speed golf system. Never going to cost you a dime. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Click that thumbs up button. That really helps us out. And also remember to subscribe. That way you'll see our newest videos. See you guys in the live video. Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard and in today's video we're going to talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see. And in this drill what we're going to do is we're going to set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag and then we're going to try to hold this throughout the swing. It's one of the worst things that you can, that you can do to build lag. I'm going to talk about the science behind why this is the case and I'm also going to give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get if started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we want to do is throughout the swing, I want to have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not going to set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, you look at Tiger Woods, all these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only going to max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag is right at the end of the golf club. This is where I want my hinge point to be.